What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight we're going to be doing a revisit in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Even though it's slightly after midnight and it's no longer St. Patrick's Day. We're still going to do this. We're in the green. And what we're revisiting tonight is Guinness Draft Stout. Now this, to this day, is my favorite stout of all time. No stout that I've had, and I've had about at least 10 other ones have not come close to this. So I'm excited for this. I have reviewed this on my channel before. I believe I've also done a revisit. We're doing another revisit in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So if you guys are interested, stick around. If not, I don't know what to tell you. I know I've done this. This is my third video doing this, but I had to do it. So this is Guinness Draft Stout. This is a 14.9 fluid ounce can, obviously, because the widget with the nitrogen is inside, so it takes up some of the space. And this is coming in at, I believe, 4.2% ABV. Um, weirdly, I'm not seeing the ABV on the can. I think it's 4.2. Um, it always was before. I did watch a Beer Snobs Cheap Beer Review uh, channel, and he reviewed it, and it was 4.1. So I don't know if they've changed it, or that was just because of his area. But we're going to go ahead and crack into this. It's at least, it's 4.1, 4.2. I think it's 4.2, or it was the last time that I actually had it. So... Let's open it. You're going to hear that amazing, beautiful sound that we do when we open a can of Guinness. You're going to hear that nitrogen release from that nitrogen ball. And it's going to come out and say hello. So we're just going to pour it right in. I'm going to tilt the glass slightly. You don't have to do this. You can pour it straight in. I always try to do it as proper as I can. Even though that's probably still a terrible pour. There's just no beating Guinness. You're going to see that beautiful cascade effect. And we're going to let this sit until it's ready to drink. You want to wait until all of this part is actually cleared up and, ca and done with the cascading effect and neutralizing which is gonna create that beautiful, white, creamy, silky head that we all love. If you're a Guinness fan, you know what I'm talking about. So it's getting close to being ready now. You can see that start to clear up. You see that head form we're about right at a finger, and a, maybe a finger and a quarter at most of head. So now at this point, it's about that time to take a sip. Now, as far as pricing goes, I got a four pack for I think it was ten seventy nine. So, but that was also because of the liquor store I went to. They like to jack prices up, but I will I'll still pay this for Guinness every time. You smell the roasted malts. You get coffee notes, a hint of like a dark chocolate, milk chocolate. It's just a phenomenal beer. Really tight, bubbles, creamy, silky. It's just an amazing beer. I can't talk about this anymore. Cheers, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Hope you had a good one. Cheers. It's just so, so silky smooth. It's got a light body to it. It looks, I know everybody says this, and I've said it before, it looks like a very heavy beer, but it is not. It's got a light, low, medium mouthfeel to me. It's a very, very smooth beer to drink. You get the roasted malts. You get like a coffee bean taste. You get a slight hint of like a chocolate, like a dark chocolate. There's just so many great flavors in Guinness. Specifically, the draft stout. I like the extra stout. I haven't had the foreign extra stout out extra stout yet, but I also have also had the. I'm just twisting my words all over the place. I've had the uh, 
Blonde Lager. Or Guinness Blonde is what I've had. That was also pretty good. But none of them compare to this, guys. This is just next level, state-of-the-art stuff. This beer always gets a 10. It's going to get a 10 again. So let's just go ahead and throw that out there, the rating. It's already there. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a perfect beer. It's perfect for any season. Although I can see people drinking it more in the wintertime. But I'll drink it all year long. If it, it doesn't matter if it's 110 degrees outside. I'm still drinking Guinness. It's just untouchable. I've had oatmeal cookie stouts. I've had chocolate milk stouts. And yes, they were delicious. They weren't Guinness Draft Stout delicious. This is just a superior beer, in my opinion. I've always, I, I'm kind of biased because I love Guinness. I love the can, I love the artwork. I love what they do. I love the beers that they brew. It's just phenomenal. It's great stuff. I would highly recommend it if you are into stouts. And I mean, at only 4.2% ABV, drinking a few of these aren't going to get you completely smashed like some 8, 9, 10% stouts would. And honestly, I'd rather have this. This just tastes better. It's got a better mouthfeel than most stouts. It's just a 10 beer. It's a perfect beer. So like I said, if you like stouts, this is right up your alley. You're going to love this. I'm assuming most people watching this have had Guinness. But uh, that's my review, guys. I want one more sip for the road. It's just so good. I'm going to go sip on this and enjoy it. Even though technically at the time of uploading this video, St. Patrick's Day has come and gone. Still, we're celebrating in style with Guinness. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a great St. Patrick's Day. And... Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on beers you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit me with a thumbs up. And until next time, cheers, guys. Let's see if my clicker works. Always have to power it back on.